Hey everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create cinematic title animation in After Effects. No third-party plugins are required. Open After Effects, go to the project panel, and create a new composition. Change the comp name to the main render. Preset custom. Width 1920, height 1080. Set duration time to 10 seconds and click OK. Today, we're going to work with this folder called Tutorial, and I will give you the full project file with a free download link only on my Patreon page. Make sure to follow my Patreon page, like, and subscribe to my channel. Now let's start creating a new background. To do that, go to the project panel and search for the Thunder Dark Cloud video file. Drag and drop on the main render timeline. Set the scale amount to 110. Now if you preview this, the thunder is so colorful. Let's do some color correction. To do that, go to the effect and press it. Type, tint, drag and drop on the video file. Now you can change any color you like. I like to keep something like a reddish sky. And again go to the effect and press it. Type curves. Drag and drop on the video file. Adjust the curves to something like this. Again, search for the sharpen effect. Drag and drop on the layer. Bring this upwards. Set the sharpening amount to 30. Now go to the project panel and search for the particles. Drag and drop on the timeline. Set the particle blending modes to the screen. Again, search for the effect called tint. Drag and drop on the particle layer. I like to keep the same reddish color. Hit the spacebar button to preview. Now again, create a new composition. Change width amount to 600, height to 200. And click OK. Type any text you want. I am going to type the same as cinematic. Make sure to align the text layer. And I am using Futura Medium Font. Now go to the effect and presets. Type Venetian Blinds. Drag and drop on the text layer. Set width to 35 and feather to one. Create a keyframe on transition completion. Set transition amount to 100. Press U to reveal only keyframes. Go forward like three seconds, 15 frames. Change the transition completion amount to zero. Again, go somewhere like seven seconds and change the transition completion amount to 100. Select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Now hit the spacebar button to preview. As you can see, the transition looks super smooth and cool. Perfect. As you like, you can change the feathers and direction. Now, go to the main render, drag and drop the text comp on the timeline. Select the comp and hit the enter button to change the comp name to the title. Again, on the project panel, search for the metallic rusty texture. Drag and drop on the timeline. Right click, transform, choose fit to comp. Again, go to the effect presets and type curves. Drag and drop on the texture layer. Adjust the curves to something like this. Now change this track mat to alpha mat. Now select both top layers. Click here to activate 3D. Press P to open the position property. Create a keyframe. Go forward three seconds. Change the Z position amount to something like this. Now right click here to create a new solid. Change the solid name to glow. Make comp size and click OK. On effect and presets, Search for the glow effect. 
drag and drop on the solid layer. Change the glow threshold amount to 40. Glow radius 300. Glow intensity 1.2. Glow phase 120 degrees. Click here on this icon to activate as an adjustment layer. Set glow dimensions to vertical. As you can see, the glow dimensions are a bit very high. Let's fix this. Make sure to select the layer, choose a rectangle for the mask. Draw the mask to something like this. Now press F to open the feathers. Change the feather amount to 166. Now finally go to the project panel and select the lens flare. Drag and drop on the timeline. Go to the effect and presets and type tint. Drag and drop on the lens flare. This time I am going to change the color to orange. Now search for the glow. Change the glow threshold amount to 40 or 50. Glow radius 0. Glow intensity 0.3 or 0.1. Press S to open scale and adjust the scale value to something like this. Hit the spacebar button to preview the entire project. I hope you all enjoyed my After Effects tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.